Little kick over the top. And very well taken by Neil. Can't get to his feet. Gale. Elias. Taken beautifully there by 17, Danny Curry. Curry's moving nicely. Got a long pass away, overhead pass. Hasn't gone out. Gone back by Lydiard and taken off the ground. And now he's attempting to go forward again. Five minutes to go. It's Henry. For Tanza. Longhurst a dummy half. Out to Simmons. There's a penalty been awarded against Balmain inside the five. A kick for touch. That's a good kick. Takes play deep into uh, the quarter. And the most vital set of six tackles in the cup final. What Balmain have to do is just keep them out. They will then get the ball, have a chance to play with the ball, waste more time. That should wrap it up. And another major mistake from Penrith. It's been the downfall all night in the Cup Final of 87. They just haven't been able to retain possession for the full set of six. Gary Jack running from dummy half, and he's uh, put in a workload tonight that really boggles the mind. And he's not only a fullback, he's a forward, he's a, a, a halfback, he's a 5'8", he's a second rower, he's a prop. He does it all. Scott Gale running from dummy half. We saw his twinkling feet involved just a few moments ago. Now he's down to receive attention. We're inside the last five minutes. It'll be a meritorious win to Balmain, whose footballers or some of the personnel have had a very, very heavy workload in the last three weeks. I think it's something like five games in the last uh, 17 or 18 days. Especially for that man there, Wayne Pierce, who's had a very strong game in defence. Made some half breaks up the middle of the rucks. Superb athlete and having a great year. Well, there he is now getting to his feet and playing it. Back to Benny Elias. Swept that one on the full over the sideline. And that uh, should negate the... Uh, it does negate the uh, put-in or the Balmain keeping of the ball onto Izzard. Izzard's going strongly. A very powerful man. He had a great big fend in the, hand, in the face of a Balmain player. Robinson trying it from dummy half. Boy Simmons onto Matt Goodwin. Charges straight ahead. They're only about six metres out from the line. Alexander. Acri, bad pass. Not knocked on though, knocked back, picked up by Robinson. Gaia, Alexander, Batanza tries desperately to straighten up with a little bit of a half sidestep there. Simmons running from dummy half, does a kick through, taken by Fitzhenry, and it's a try. Now whether he was onside or not, that's another matter. Well, the National Panasonic replays might show us just Royce Simmons running out. He sets himself to kick just over the, the line. Well, Mike Stone is in a perfect position to see Fitzhenry, the man, snapping it up. And with only minutes to go in the 87 National Panasonic Cup final, what looked like a perfect victory for the Balmain Tigers now is going down right to the line as we see Royce Simmons again run out of that dummy half position. The chip across field. Andrew Fitzhenry, the 18-year-old, scoops it up. And now, some hope again for the Penrith Panthers. Well, if they kick the goal, it's going to be 14-12, but then they'll have about a minute and a half to go with the ball back in their possession from the kickoff. Here's Fitzhenry. OK, he raises the flags. Balmain will now come back and have to survive about a minute and a half. Well, this is what cup final is all about. The pressure, the tension now applied to the dying seconds. Billy Anderson must be wondering 
how they could lose it after playing so well tonight. But Penrith have fought back brilliantly in the third and fourth quarters and dominated territorially the last half of the Cup final. Izzard's got the ball from the kickoff, but couldn't have gone to a better player. He makes 25 metres. And now he's hurt. And the Balmain players, some of them appealing to uh, the referee, one thinks for uh, a penalty or <laughs> some operation that would uh, indicate that uh, Izzard is uh, faking. Nothing apparent in the uh, in the replay. Well, nobody in this crowd has moved. 16,800 odd people have come in. And there's still 16,000 sitting around. And how ironic it would be if the Tigers are going to add the National Panasonic Cup in 1987. They won the Cup in 85 by exactly the same scoreline, 14 to 12. We're into the last minute of play. And for the Penrith Panthers, a penalty goal to tie the scores would give them the 87 National Panasonic Cup final at this stage. Two tries apiece, the penalties, Penrith way, 10 to 8. All right, well, that interesting bit of information would... Uh wrap the whole thing up. We all know what we've got to do, what we've got to play for. So Izzard's apparently OK. He's well enough to play the ball. He's had knees in the back in that tackle, quite obviously. Plays it. Gives it on to Batanza. Batanza. Stands in a tackle, had the opportunity to offload, didn't do so. Roy Simmons runs from dummy half, makes a small gain. Out to Alexander, the cutout pass, out to Gaia. Gaia out to Robinson, Robinson goes up the sideline. He gets towards the halfway line, is tackled. Fitz Henry, Alexander. Uh, that's the end of the section, Gaia's just lost the ball. And Balmain have come up with it through Owens. And they'll go through the motions now for the dying stages of this game to come away with a scoreline that'll read 14 points to 12. And they'll be exceptionally slow play the balls on the behalf of the Balmain side. Owens being pulled up there <laughs> by one of the recalitrant uh, Penrith players. Owens at dummy half. On to Wayne Pearce, he runs slightly diagonally. Last tackle coming up. Benny Elias kicks downfield. It will go over the sideline. And it will be a scrum, the last of the match. With Penrith to feed. A very slow scrum uh, formation by Balmain. It's in and out the Balmain side. Greg Alexander's dropped it, but he's dropped it backwards, according to the referee. There's the herder in the background, gone. The player. Well, we don't need that. The last tackle of the match was a very high spear type of tackle. Players raced in, so that is the end of the section for Penrith. We've had a scoreline that reads 14 points to 12. The scorers for the... Balmain side have been Gale and Gartner at try each Conlon, three goals. For Penrith, Robinson and Fitzhenry have scored tries and Fitzhenry...